60 scarabs to enter Cape Claw. <laughs> God, in you go. <laughs> oh my god, I love this guy so much. Go on, in you go, and the burp is just all perfect. Beautiful 10 out of 10. Would laugh at again. What's up, everyone? My name's Chris. Welcome back to more Star Fox Assault. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm not even doing that on purpose, I swear. That's just me freaking being stupid. Anyways, in the last episode, we met the freaking best character in the game by far, and he's not even a character. Uh, I would, honestly, if I ever met like the voice actor who played that guy, I would be his freaking best friend forever. I would ask for his autograph and ask him to do the voice. I would, you know, some people would say I would love if Morgan Freeman narrated my life for me. Well, I don't wish that. I wish that guy, that one guy in particular, would narrate my life for me forever. I would never get sick of his voice. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> I love it. So there's actually a boost pad over here, which can go splashed off into the moon. No, let's not go back to Moon Mountain Pass. That place is scary, man. That place is scary. We should come over here. And we can get the freaking Nazi symbol crates. Look at that thing. It looks like a freaking Nazi symbol. How dare they? Disgusting. And there's fuel cells over here. Yay! All right. Jump down here and get hurt. Apparently, fine. Oh, apparently that sharp claw respawned. What a bum face. So misty here all of a sudden. What's going on? Can I talk to him again? No, I can't talk to him and hear his beautiful voice. That's disappointing. And we're in a freaking mini maze. It's a mini mart. But if you zoom in and you have the map, you should be fine. Just follow it. I do not believe there's anything. Yeah, see, there's no fuel cells or anything in here. Just literally follow your map. And you should be good. Oops, not this way. But not this way either. But this way. All right. Okay, and there we go. See, that's it. That's, that's it for the maze forever. And we can follow this pathway. Follow it. Oh, tricky. It's freaking teleporting, teleporting, teleporting. Tricky. And make it to this little nice bladder thing. These kind of like wells that you can climb down in the middle of nowhere. It kind of reminds me of Pitfall Lost Expedition because there's those pla there's those things all over the place. It's kind of silly. This is kind of a hillbilly as well. I'm going to climb down this ladder. This ladder. <coughs> um. If we could find an area where I could jump down, I'd be very happy. Alright, there we go. So actually, first off, we're going to want... If you want the fuel cells in this place, you're going to want to jump down all the way to the bottom. What? You can't do that? What just happened? Huh? That's weird. That's never happened to me before. Why'd that happen? I don't even feel like that's supposed to happen. It's like Fox's voice kind of glitched there as well. Huh? Okay. So I guess we're gonna have to go about this the long, annoying way. What? I know there's fuel cells scattered around here as well. Huh. Alright then. Okay, we should be close enough to the bomb now to jump without. There we go. So I don't know why I did that before. I mean, you could have totally jumped down here. Maybe it was just too much for like. GameCube to handle or some crazy thing. Some crazy thing. Shake that crazy thing. And there we go. So three fuel cells in here. Holy crap, look at all those grub tubs. The tubs of the grubs. All of the grub tubs. And there should be a boost pad somewhere here, I hope. Because if there isn't, then I'm freaking... Oh, never mind. There's a ladder. If there isn't, then I'm freaking confused as all heck. But there wasn't, so I am confused as all heck. And now, which way do I climb this ladder? Ladder? Ladder. There we go. We climb up this way, you silly little face head. Climbing up the ladder. Climbing all the way. So we're actually aiming to go up to the north side here. So we're actually going to use this boost pad. So there's two options to go. We can either go up those ladders or up these ladders. We want to go up these ladders because this is the way to freaking Cape Claw, the most beautiful of all beautiful places. Actually, is this the wrong way? This could very well be the wrong way. And if it is, I'll be the saddest of all Chris's. I'll probably cry, actually. <laughs> Everything's okay. Actually, this might not even be the wrong way. I don't even know. I don't even know anymore, man. Climb up here. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And... Actually, I guess we could use this... To oh, never mind. It is this way. Alright, I guess correctly, I guess. It's kind of weird. 
Because you would think I would guess wrong, because I am Chris after all, and I always guess things wrong. How very uncorrect of me. I can tell you're going the right way, because as you can see, that's where we came out of, and really, that's where we want to be. It's Cape Claw. To Cape Claw we go. Definitely my favorite area in the game by far. It's freaking awesome. It's kind of a shame we're coming here during night time. Wait, is this is this night or is this morning? It's totally dawn or um, night, dusk. Oh great, another freaking chop club brute. Come at me, brother, from another mother. All right, come on. Use your freaking claws of death. Are you see? Are you are you for really? Anymore? Okay, there we go. No? How many times are you gonna attack me? Let's see how many times he attacks me before he like takes a break or something. Holy crap, he does not stop. Alright, come on. There we go. There we go. Just just die. Just die. Honestly, as soon as you get like an enemy into a loop of attacking him, he's pretty much done for. It's landing that first hit, that's the hardest thing ever. Ever forever ever. Eh, I'm kinda sad that we'll come here at night. Well, that's kind of creepy. Cause he fucks running in the backgrounds. Tricky like senses something's wrong or something. Who even understands? He has the saddest of all sads. <laughs> Damn facial expressions. Damn facial expressions. But yep, welcome to freaking Cape Claw. And this place doesn't look all that impressive yet. It's because it's freaking nighttime and it kind of doesn't look as good at night as it does in the day. Because it's a freaking beach level. You don't go to the beach at night. You go to the beach during the day, you silly little face head. So I'm going to hit that needle burrito thing behind the waterfall. I fear the waterfall. One in the river and one again after the fall. Name that reference. <laughs> if you actually look down, there's a fuel cell here. Please don't miss. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay. Cells of fuels. Perfect. So now we're going to want to swim down here to get another fuel cell. There's actually only two fuel cells in this massive place. Look, look at that map. That's pretty freaking massive. Do you want to climb up there, please, Fox? Thank you. That'll be $5. And maybe you caught a glance of it there. There, see it? There's a fuel cell, right? You can't really see it. You can sort of see it if you know where you're looking. But if you don't know where you're looking... No yachting. This is not a boring let's play. What is that thrashing, thrashers? Stop thrashing. Little dying. Oh god, boss battle. Oh god. Ow! Not really, but anyways, jump down there, and that's it for fuel cells. See? Look at that. No fuel cells. Ow! Stop it! You hole of ass. I will end you. I will end you! <sighs> Despicable creatures. Despicable. Hmm. Alright. Plant here, and there's a freaking thing of groupies. Oh god, I finally broke that habit. No, there we go, bring it up again. There's five little rupees in there. What are these called? Cushies. Cushies. But tussle. Ah, here we go. It is morning. And it's very fun times. Oh, look, our staff is glowing. And if you actually look, yeah, that rock is hollow and it looks like it has some kind of green glowy thing in there. So you would imagine, oh, this should totally break it, right? <gasps> no, it doesn't. I don't think that's like a glitch or anything because it's not. Even though I wish it was. Ooh, there's a little diggy hole here. Fine. I am a dinosaur and I'm digging a hole. Dig, 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 hole. What is this? What? <gasps> what? What? Is this? Is this what I think it is? It's gold! We're rich! Yes! Find shiny gold bar, the high top, for fondness of all things for gold. So if you give it to him, he will help you. Question mark? Alright. We're gonna lift this rock and get us some scarabs, because it bugs me not having the maximum amount of scarabs, even though it's not gonna bring us to the max amount. Oh no. Remember, we haven't seen one of these guys since, like, the Snowhorn Temple place. It's a bribe clause. He only moves for scarabs. You pay me scarabs to pay. Honestly, with the heavy. If you listen to him, he has, like, freaking heavy ass armor. Fighting these guys would freaking suck. You literally never fight them in the game. It's literally. This is literally the only oh, other bribe claw in the game. Don't tell, it's like, I always found that kind of weird. They both take 25 scarabs. It's like, what? How does that even work? What is this? I don't even want. Alright, come on, you boot claw. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I thought, son. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't even try to mess. I'm way too much of a freaking badass. I'm a badass mofo. I'm gonna coax you down there. Castle! 
Alright, are, are we gonna have to fight you or a friend or not many members of this tribe left? Aw, that's kinda sad. I haven't seen that description before. When I heard that's kinda sad. The sharp claw were coming to Cape Claw, I hid my precious gold deep below the sands. Oh. My memory's not what it used to be though, and now I've forgotten where I buried them. You With silly the little help bitch. Of your little friend, you should be able to find them. Return all four gold bars, and I will help you on your quest. Why are you so happy, Tricky? Stop being so happy. There's no reason to be happy. Ow. So these freaking... Okay, look at that. I don't know if you saw that, but th these little Koshi things, they could long-range shoot you, and literally the blasts go through, like, they, like, face through blocks and such. Yeah, anyways, give him the gold. He'll, like, bite your head off and eat you. And place it on the bench. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And somehow it magically teleports over there. Hmm, how mysterious. Stop it! You asshole! But anyways, I guess we'll go on an episode there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Sir Christopher the 22nd. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Don't you dare do it! Don't you dare- don't! Mm, that's it. You have angered me! You have angered me! Last time, be gone from this world. You're dead. All the deads were had. All right, goodbye, guys.